What I want to talk about is optics. And when you see us out on these big western landscapes hunting mule deer, we're kind of starting with a good pair of binoculars. And we're going to sit down and we're going to have the sun at our back just about every time we can. Either slightly to our left, slightly to our right. So in the morning, we're probably going to be glassing from the east, the southeast, maybe the northeast, whatever it takes to keep the sun at our back. Reason being that lights up the animals way better in the morning. And we're just looking over big landscapes and we got a good pair of binoculars and you're going to see us just glass and glass and glass with binoculars. This is kind of the shotgun approach. Then when we see something, it may or may not contain the buck or bull we're looking for. When we see something, the way we inspect that, we don't walk over there and look at it. We get on a good spotting scope, in this case an 80 millimeter spotting scope that goes all the way up to 60 power. You can get behind it and you can look over there a mile easily in good light, dial it up, focus it, and you're going to know is that the animal I want. Or maybe it's not the one you want. Or if you're scouting, at least it lets you check out the quality of the animals there without having to get so close as to maybe spook them. This is a system that I know it seems very uh, elementary for me to be talking about it, but you'd be amazed at how many people I run into out on the western landscapes hunting mule deer who just have a pair of binos or they only have a spotting scope. But to really cover everywhere and especially those areas close to you, you know, you, you got to have both. And if there's one mistake I also see people do is they get to their glassing point and they start looking far away as their first places. Look at the places nearby first, because if there are animals far away, guess what? You probably haven't spooked them coming in here. They're gonna be out there. But the ones that are close by, those are the ones that might already be on alert. So I always start close by working my, my distance away from my position as time progresses. And then when I see those ones far away, hey, that's where the, the rifle approach, in other words, the, the spotting scope comes into play. Don't come out west on your first mule deer hunt and think, well, I'll just use my rifle scope. If I see you using your rifle scope glass, I'm probably gonna walk up to you and say something. It's very unsafe, it's extremely unsafe, and it's just not a good way to see things. Invest in a good pair of binoculars if you can, a good spotting scope. And like a lot of things, optics, you get what you pay for. So uh, I like this American-made stuff. It's why you see me use the loophole stuff. <laughs>